Elon Musk disrupts every industry he walks into. He changed the way we see passenger cars with Tesla and revitalized the space industry with SpaceX. Now he has the trucking industry in his sights with the latest Tesla project, the Tesla Semi. Just like other Tesla EVs, Elon wants to fight the environment problem, but the real reason he is developing the Tesla Semi is bigger than that and involves the whole food chain of the trucking industry. As EV trucks enter the picture, a whole new market has emerged and Tesla will look to stay on top. Earlier this year, it was announced that Tesla won't be launching any new models this year because of the chip shortages and supply chain bottlenecks. So everyone assumed that the semi, just like the Cybertruck, won't be out till next year. However, there seems to be a change of plans and there could be an interesting reason behind it, which I will discuss later on. The latest news on the subject is that Tesla will be shipping the 500 mile range semi-truck later this year. It is certainly going to be a major revelation and has the potential to disrupt the trucking industry. We know that with Tesla and Elon Musk, environmental considerations are a big thing. Elon Musk wants Tesla to be the leader in transitioning the vehicle industry to clean sources of energy. Tesla has made a huge dent when it comes to passenger cars, but the impact of the cargo shipping industry on the environment is also massive. As of 2022, there are approximately 4 million commercial Class 8 trucks on the road in the US that drive upwards of 300 billion miles a year. The CO2 emissions from semi-trucks alone make up 15% of the total emissions for the country. Tesla Semi is Elon Musk's solution to that problem. It has been described as a zero-emission freight-hauling cargo machine and a great bet for the environment. So that's one big reason why Tesla developed the Semi. The contribution of the freight industry to carbon emissions is not negligible and the Semi will help us overcome that. And since EVs make less noise, this will also help with some of the noise pollution and the noise bans in place. However, this is not the only reason Tesla developed this massive machine. In 2019, the American trucking industry generated $800 billion in revenue. With 4 million trucks on the road, Tesla and other automakers are looking at an industry that can potentially make them trillions of dollars when the transition to electric vehicles happens across the board. Even though the shift to electric cars started much earlier, the pace of transition can be much quicker in trucks because of the promise of increased profitability for EV truck owners. The demand for EV trucks will rise further in the coming years with President Joe Biden's plan to replace all federal vehicles with clean cleaner EVs. According to the most recent data, the federal fleet includes more than 400,000 trucks and once that transition starts, others will quickly follow suit. According to the Tesla website, the Semi will be able to cover 500 miles on a full charge. This is an important milestone because trucking is all about huge distances and a better range translates into smoother journeys with minimum stops. An empty truck will be able to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 5 seconds, while a fully loaded 80,000 pound truck will attain the same speed in just 20 seconds. Another impressive feature of the design is the low drag coefficient of 0.36, which is half of what we see in standard trucks and is even better than race cars. Tesla Semi will have a total cost per mile of $1.26 compared to the $1.51 for a diesel truck. With these mileage benefits, Tesla is promising operators an estimated fuel savings of up to $200,000 within the first three years of ownership. Tesla also gives a maintenance guarantee and claims that the semi won't break down for at least a million miles because it has fewer moving parts. That's almost a 33% improvement on traditional trucks, which according to the American Transportation Research Institute, are replaced after every 754,000 miles. The Tesla Semi looks like a complete package and can potentially be a massive moneymaker for the company. However, it hasn't been all smooth sailing for the company. When you talk about the Tesla Semi, you simply have to acknowledge the big delays it has suffered ever since it was first unveiled in 2017. 
At the time, Musk said that the orders will be delivered to customers in 2019. However, Musk is known for his ambitious timelines and some delays were expected. The company then pushed back production until 2021, and then we were looking at a 2023 timeline. Musk acknowledged the problem, saying, Prototypes are easy, scaling production is very hard. And we've witnessed these scaling issues with Tesla a lot. For the Tesla Semi, a major problem has been availability of 4680 battery cells. Tesla had originally planned to shift away from its traditional 2170 cells for the Semi. The 4680 cells hold five times the energy, six times the power, and a 16% higher range as compared to the current cells. However, the production of 4680 cells has been difficult for the company and has continuously caused delays in producing the Tesla Semi. The main reason we've not accelerated the Tesla Semi is that we simply don't have enough cells for it. We could easily go into production with the Semi, but we would not have enough cells for it right now. We will have enough cells for Semi when we are producing the Tesla 4680 in volume. As Tesla has kept on pushing back deadlines, many competitors have emerged and some have even beaten Tesla to putting electric trucks on the road. This was always expected, as Tesla was never really the only big EV manufacturer in the game. Automakers like GM, Daimler, Rivian, and Volvo are all manufacturing their own versions of semis. There are potential trillions at stake, and every manufacturer wants a piece of the pie. Daimler has beaten Tesla to the market with its e-Cascadia trucks, while another major rival, Nikola, has managed to deliver the first batch of 11 BEV trucks to customers. The company already has 500 orders and will deliver at least 300 of them this year. The anticipation for the Tesla Semi has been building for quite some time now. Tesla has used Semi prototypes in a marketing stunt to deliver cars to customers. While the truck has been sighted periodically at different locations over the last few months, the company also recently posted job listings for employees to work on the semi-service program, which means that the first deliveries to customers may be just around the corner. Tesla wrote in the listing, We are looking for experienced service technicians to support the growth of the semi-service program. The company also listed five locations in California and Nevada where it needs technicians. Tesla already has some notable customers on its books. PepsiCo has pre-ordered 100 trucks, Walmart has 130, and Pride Group Enterprises has ordered 150 trucks. These numbers represent just a small number of these companies' fleets and represent a huge market for Tesla once it starts delivering the pre-orders. Tesla is currently taking a $20,000 reservation fee to order a semi. While there hasn't been a recent update on cost, the company has previously said it would sell a 300-mile range version of the Semi for $150,000 and a 500-mile range version for $180,000. However, these are very old prices and a revised adjustment to 2022 standards is certainly expected. The next challenge for Tesla would be to take production to a level that challenges the industry. Musk has told investors and analysts that he wants to be producing 100,000 trucks a year in just a few years. This would certainly make Tesla one of the biggest mass transit vehicle producers in the world. However, with millions of trucks on the US roads, Tesla still has some way to go before it can truly have a notable share in the market. As of now, the Tesla Semi remains unassigned to any of Tesla's production sites. Scaling up can take months, and even if Tesla does deliver the Semi this year, it won't be in huge numbers. But before all of that can happen, Tesla will have to spread out a charging network just like they have successfully done for the Tesla passenger cars. The Tesla supercharger network is the backbone of the company's operation, and they are planning something similar for the Tesla Semi. The Semi will have a massive battery pack that would require more charging time and faster charging speeds. We know that Tesla's best superchargers can give an output of 350 kilowatts, which will take hours to charge a vehicle as massive as the Semi. 
So Tesla has come up with the Mega Charger, which can produce an output of one megawatt and will be able to add 400 miles of range to a semi in just 30 minutes. Tesla has already installed 1.5 megawatt mega chargers at Frito-Lay's facility in Modesto, California, and also has one at Giga Nevada. But the company will have to spread out the network way more along with ramping up vehicle production. Having the right charging infrastructure will also be crucial for Tesla in the wake of Joe Biden's $7.5 billion EV infrastructure bill. Most of that allocation will go to passenger models and vans. Also, heavy-duty vehicles like the Semi need to have a charging footprint in place. This can also be the reason why Elon Musk and Tesla are now fast-tracking the Tesla Semi. Having the Semi on the road before government funding kicks in will help Tesla get a chunk of the money. Let's see how Tesla's first semi-deliveries pan out. In any case, Tesla will need to have a charging plan in place, which is why you should go check out our video on how the Tesla supercharger plan changes everything.